Hi, I'm Samuel Thani. Welcome to Christ Village, where we raise people to impact the world. The church appreciates the volunteers that came out yesterday at the annual turkey giveaway in Baltimore City and those who contributed to the program. The Lord will always provide abundantly for your needs in Jesus' name. November 2019 has been declared the month of living hope. Our scripture is taken from the book of 1 Peter 1.3, and it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Our prayer for you this month is that your hope regarding the promises of God over your life will not be dashed and your expectations will not be cut off in Jesus' name. We say a special welcome to all those worship with us for the first time at Christ Village. We are glad to have you here with us and hope you will worship with us again soon. We pray that the blessings of today will remain with you and the Lord will grant every desire of your heart in Jesus' name. Coming up at Christ Village, on Monday at 7 p.m., we have our prayer meeting. Join us as we seek the face of the Lord. On Wednesday at 7 p.m., we have our last Rima hour of the year a period of searching the scripture. We have been learning about money issues among Christians. Let us come together and learn at the master's feet. Both take place at the Freedom Hall. The Ambassadors, Christ Villas Men's Fellowship, have been holding prayer sessions for the children every Friday during the month of November. These will continue this Friday, the 29th. Join the prayer line at 9 p.m. to help secure the blessings of your children. The Ambassadors next monthly meeting is on November the 30th. Please reach out for more information. Next Sunday is Thanksgiving Sunday. Remember that service starts at 9 a.m. with the hour praise. Come early and worship the Lord. It's that time of year again. The weather outside may be frightful, but the CV Christmas breakfast is most delightful. We invite you all to our annual Christmas breakfast taking place at the Hilton in Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Please note that registration is required to ensure seating, so please register at ChristVillaChristmasBreakfast.eventbrite.com or simply visit our website at ChristVilla.org and find the registration link under the upcoming event section. Again, please ensure all adults and children are registered and we look forward to celebrating with you. The deadline to register is December 18th. Workers' Banquet is just an avenue to appreciate us, especially the workers, for what God has used us to do in the course of the year. It's an avenue to mingle together, you know, fellowship together, and just thank God for what He has done through us especially in course of the year from January uh, till now. So I want to sincerely appreciate every one of us for allowing God to use you. Attention all women of Christ Villa. If you are yet to join the favored women, Christ Villa's ministry for women aged 23 and up, please see Sister Major Pierce to be added to the group. The 12 days end of year fasting and prayer will start on Monday, December 2nd. Please see the ushers to get a calendar. Connect Group is your link to stay connected with others. All those who wish to join one of the new Connect Groups should please see one of the leaders for more information. Let's take this unique opportunity to fellowship with people of like mind as we build connections within the Christ Villa family. David's Generation, the best choir in the world, invites you to worship with them for the first Sunday in December as part of the Hour Praise. This is your chance to lead God's people into praise and worship. Please see Dick and Debo or Brother Abba to sign up. To get your name added to our monthly list of birthdays and anniversaries, please visit the Services and Forms tab on the church website and submit your information on our Become a Member page. It's impossible to know with certainty what goes on behind closed doors, but there are some telltale signs of emotional abuse and domestic violence to look for. 
People who are being abused may seem afraid or anxious to please their partner. Check in often with their partner to report where they are and what they're doing. People who are being physically abused may have frequent injuries with the excuse of accidents. Frequently miss work, school, or social occasions without explanation. They may have low self-esteem even if they used to be confident. Show major personality changes and may be depressed, anxious, or suicidal. If you witness these warning signs of abuse in a friend or family member or coworker, take them very seriously and speak up. If you're hesitating, telling yourself that it's none of your business, you may be wrong, or that person might not want to talk about it. Keep in mind that expressing your concern will let the person know that you care and may even save their lives. Don't wait for them to come to you. Don't judge or blame them, or give spontaneous advice without careful thought. Instead, ask them if something is wrong. Express concern, listen and validate, offer help, and support their decision. The CV Health team includes licensed medical professionals focused on health and wellness. There are nurses available at the church in the Freedom Hall for quick checkups. Make a call to any member of the church you haven't seen in a while. Show others that you care about them. Remember, we're children of the same Father, and may God bless you as you reach out. Let us remember to keep the sanctuary and its environs tidy at all times. Please do not eat, drink, or feed toddlers within the sanctuary. May you be blessed as you keep God's house clean. I'm Bumi Toye Kalawale. We hope you've been blessed by today's ministration, and we can't wait to worship with you again. Please visit our website at ChristVilla.org. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to share us with your friends. That's it for this week. See you next week.